even when I'm not here, I think about farms, either on trips or even when you're flying across the country, you look down, all you see are farms. You know, wherever you are in the country, people are putting food on the table and you got farmers that I think have a connection with the land that we just miss in our cities and suburbs. I've got this old root chopper in the barn that I found at a flea market. I just saw it and I fell in love with it. It must have been built by an old New England farmer that just had to cut up a bunch of vegetables and built it himself. I think when I first saw it, I was really attracted by the woodworking on it because whoever built it must have been a really good carpenter. You got all these compound mortise and tenon joints and cross braced and wooden pegs and I don't know, it's a really well built thing. I don't know, there's something about this tool that kind of ties me back to old farms when people and farmers were a lot tougher. You know, they, they had to build things, they had to put up their food, they had to, you know, know how to do everything, really. It's real closeness with the land, closeness with how the land feeds you and everything. This is an old wedding photo of my folks. My dad was actually a lawyer for Polaroid, and uh, he was really into cameras too, really into taking pictures and, and the technology. And I remember as a kid, you know, he'd take cameras on business trips, and after he'd get back, he'd you know, set up the screen in the living room, and we'd all watch pictures of places we'd never seen. It was pretty cool. And he had all these old cameras too. I remember in his office at, at Polaroid, he had a whole shelf of these antique cameras just as kind of artwork. They probably still work, too. I don't know. I, I think I've got a whole box of these upstairs in the attic, too. Neat stuff. My first job, my first real job, was putting together Sunday newspapers. But my boss and his best friend who worked there, they were both World War II paratroopers. So here I was, a 13-year-old kid, and, and these old grizzly guys are telling stories about jumping on D-Day. Their first combat out of paratrooper school was jumping behind the Nazi lines on D-Day. And I was just amazed, and, and I, I thought, well, I have to do that. There's nothing like your first skydive. I've done over 3,100 jumps, but I remember my first one really vividly. You, know, you ask me about my 176th, I don't know. My 1,200th, I don't remember. But you remember your first one. And most people will only do one skydive. Most people, they come by and they do a one tandem jump and it's a, it's a great experience. They'll talk about it for the rest of their life. So when you're videoing somebody doing that, you're really capturing a moment that's extremely special for that person. Misery loves company, I guess. Absolutely. You got a great day for you. A little excited? Absolutely. A little scared? Um, no, no. All right. Not scared at all. Cool. I know my, there's something where I... We'll see. Done. See how you do when the door opens, all right? See when the door opens? That's huh. fine. Can I do this? Yeah. No one ever regrets getting a video of their first skydive, but people often regret not getting it. We're going out that door. I got one last question for you. Sure. Are you ready to skydive? Absolutely. Woohoo! Did you And it's great just seeing the faces in free fall and seeing them smile on the ground and hug their family and friends but my job is really to capture that moment for him. Come on
want these in there? Um, you can put them in that one back there. Let me get that going. I'm gonna take Mr. D down the road, I think. You riding with anybody else or just riding? I don't know, Carrie may come over. Should be a nice day, Stoked. What do you think, Al? Who's taking Allie today? Al, are you gonna go for a walk today? You gonna go for a walk, old girl? Well, you guys don't like that at all, do you? That's some honey. So this is really my chance to, to fine tune the helmets and the cameras so that they're ready to go when I'm ready to take a shot. The tools in some ways, if they're working well, they should, they should disappear in my mind. I should just be thinking I want a shot now, 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 or if it's video, um, you know, just capture the scene as it happens and not have to think about what's really going on up there. This is my chance to think about what's going on uh, up on the helmet, you know. Up, up there I'm thinking about where I'm going to be in the sky, where the light is, what the scene, how the scene's unfolding, and, uh, and what I want to capture.
Guess what that is? Please let my package 